the liquidity coverage ratio which is one of the major uh, uh, major areas which has been uh, addressed in basel 3 one of the major uh, elements of basel 3 with a very strong intent to promote short term resilience of the banking sector right that's the major uh, intention behind uh, the, the the arrival of this liquidity coverage uh, ratio in general also the intention of uh, basel as we know it's primarily targeted towards uh, coming up with uh, global regulatory standards majorly targeting towards uh, capital adequacy right the major focus of any basel standard is towards the global adequacy or promoting more and more of liquidity thus strengthening the banking sector so even uh, even this is primarily uh, looked at making the banking sector more and more uh, resilient but majorly the target of this particular uh, ratio is from a short term resilience perspective right uh, so majorly from a short term resilience uh, perspective we look at this liquidity coverage ratio here what it simply uh, says is first the bank has to really understand the complete liquidity needs when we are talking about the liquidity needs here it is specifying that look at the liquidity needs for the next 30 days under a presumed or predetermined stress scenario understand the liquidity needs for the next 30 days calendar period under a liquidity stress scenario so which means the bank has to really compute the total net cash outflows and uh, this particular LCR has defined the total net cash flows as an element or as a function of two components so total expected cash flows in the next uh, 30 days total